Hi guys and welcome to the Survival Hunter changes and reworks for Battle for Azeroth. There's been a lot, a lot of changes to survival in the alpha. And there's been a few new spells and talents added. And there's actually been a spell added about an hour ago on the alpha. So I'll be explaining that as well. I'll go through the single target talents first and the rotation. And then the AoE talents and rotation. So to start with, you've got Viper's Venom. Which is Raptor Strike as a chance to make your next items in cost no focus and deal an additional 200%, 300% initial damage, which is good. I like to take alpha, uh, kill alpha Predator, so Kill Command now has two charges and deals 30% increased damage. The main thing here is that it has two charges, and I'll get into later on why that's really, really good for you. But yeah, now on to the next one. Butchery, which is how it works in, um, in Legion, where it's basically a whirlwind for a hunter. Then Hydra's Bite, Serpent Sting fires arrows at two additional enemies near your target. And its damage over time is increased by 30%. Obviously that's just not good for us because we're not we're, it's single target. So I'll take Gorilla Tactics. So Wild Fom Bomb now has two charges. And the initial explosion deals 100% increased damage. And the build I'm using now is a bomb build. So this Gorilla Tactics is just the main starting point for that build. Your next talent is the same as it is in Marksman which was in my other video. So it's Camouflage, Trailblazer, Natural Mending. So I take Natural Mending because it gets Exhilaration off cooldown quicker, which is good for everyone. Next, we've got Murder of Crows. Works the same as it does in Legion. Just its damage is reduced here than it was on Marksman, but I think that might be changed. So your next one, Steel Trap. Hells a Steel Trap at the target. Location that snaps down and deals 5,000 5, damage over 30 seconds. I don't like this, I just like taking Bloodseeker, so I can just, I I've got more charges of Kill Command, and I'll be keeping up this 441 damage all the time, and obviously you and your pet's attack speed is, is increased by 10%, which is really, really good. Next one, you're going to take Post Haste, so you can just be charging around, use a Disengage, grab your movement speed boost. So now, Flanking Strike has become a, um, has become, it's become a, a talent. I don't like taking this one because it's just another spell to click when you really want to be focusing on getting the charges of your shrapnel and kill command off. Mongoose Bite, same as it was in Legion. I never really liked Mongoose because you have to keep it up and the stacks don't refresh. So I don't really ever like using Mongoose Bite. And now, because I have my two kill commands, Tip of the Spear is really good because your kill command increases the damage of your next Raptor, spike, Raptor Strike by 15%, stacking up to three times, which is really good even if you don't stack it till it's free like still three times because you have more kill commands you're getting full use out of tip of the spear now for your last stro uh, last ones raptor strike your pet's target extends the duration of coordinator assault this is basically beast or wrath where you and your pet are just going to deal 20 percent more damage it's beast or wrath but for survival hunters so every time you use a raptor strike it will increase it by one second but that means when you're using coordinator assault you can't use kill command or serpent string because you need to get the full potential out of spamming raptor strike I don't really like ever using that. And back from Pandaria, Chakrams. Your primary target takes 100% increased damage from the Chakrams you throw. I just don't really ever like this. Because it's only going to deal 4k. Whereas Wildfire Infusion is just going to give me way, way more. So Kill Command has a 100% chance to reset against target coated with the Pheromones. Which is what I'm going to give. So the Pheromone Bomb. And Shrapnel Bomb. Pisses the target. And my Raptor Strike causes a bleed, which is just really, really good. And Volatile Bomb, which is just more and more dots, which is just really, really, really good. So, I'll show I'll show how to start. So, you want to start off with Harpoon. Start off with a Harpoon. Use Coordinated Assault. Start off with your Shrapnel Bomb. And then use your commands. So, now with my... You see, i got the Pots of Command. I can use a Raptor Strike, which is going to hit hard. Now, I'll use my next set of Bombs and use my Kill Command. See, so Kill Command reset it again. And now, I can use three... I can use free um, kill commands to to empower a raptor strike. So now I use my raptor strike now. Use my raptor strike now. Use one kill command, then raptor strike, so I can dump out my focus. So I've got a lot of focus, so I want to keep make sure I'm dumping that out. So using kill commands, use my kill command again, and raptor strike. Kill command again, and raptor strike. Make sure you keep up um, serpent sting. So just keep using your raptor strikes and kill command. Kill command, raptor strike. You just want to make sure you're using up loads of your focus. So use your bomb. And now he's bleeding and his um, the dots on my, that target's been refreshed. So as you can see, it's really, really cool. And there's, the changes to it have been really, really good. This is basically the lowdown at the moment. If you want to go for the bomb build, which is what I like to do. Because I'm just running and 
smashing everything up. But you just want to make sure that you keep up your Serpent Sting all the time. So you can get your props of Kill Command. So now I can use Kill Command twice. And that increases my next the strike by 30%. So as you can see, it's just really, really, really good. And it's really fun to play, to be honest. It's probably one of the funnest reworks. And I think Blizzard have done a really good job on it. So now I've got three stats and I can just smash. Especially with a lot more haste, this will be like really, really fun to do as well. But now I'll go into AoE talents and show them off. So I'll just dismiss my pet. Oh, got to get close to it. Dismiss it. Disengage backwards. Run, post haste. Now use my Tome of Tranquil Mind. Now, for single target, you want to be taking... Um, you want to be taking Vaptor's Viper's Venom because it's going to increase Serpent Sting damage. So now you want to use Hydra's Bite as well so that all your targets are getting Serpent Sting, which is going to be really good for you. Next one you went, you know, it's whatever you want. I take Murder of Crows now, especially for multiple targets because if one target dies and you can get another one off on another target, it's just really, really good for you. Um, next, it's down to you. I always like taking Post Haste, just that more speed. Uh, next one, um, for this one I take flanking strike just so I can get a lot more focus and it gives, it's it's really big damage. So it's just going to give me 30% haste. And for your next one I'm going to take chakrams because it's going to hit loads and loads of targets. As you can see it's, the potential of survival's AoE is not there, it's kind of like enhanced where it's just all single target. But I'll show you now with the potential of serpent sting, the majority of your damage is going to be in that serpent sting. So you want to start off with Harpoon, use Serpent Sting on the targets, on your multiple targets, put down your bombs, Flank and Strike to increase that energy, and use Coordinated Assault, and just make sure that you're dotting up all your targets with your Serpent Sting. Using your procs of Kill Command, make sure your, your targets are staying dotted up. Using everything on cooldown. Just make sure you're putting Serpent Sting on the targets. And yeah, this is basically it for the AoE on Survival Hunter. So just making sure that all your targets have Serpent Sting and they're just dead and ticked. Using bombs on one target and just switching and make sure that you're you're using your Serpent Sting and yeah, on all the targets. So you just want to keep using Raptor Strike to dump some energy. Use Flanking Strike. Just start off these targets. Use Kill Command. Use Kill Command again. Use Kill Command again, then dump all your focus into Raptor Strike. Use my Serpent Sting again. Serpent Sting again. Uh, Kill Command. So yeah, this that's basically it for the Survival Hunter. Obviously, it's quite hard to judge this because I'm not getting my full use of Murder of Crows, but when I, if there was more targets, I would be. But that's basically it for the changes of Survival Hunter. There's been a few different changes to their spells as well, which I'll get into now just quickly. I cannot attack um, that. Flare, same again, but they've also included Wind Click now, which is the old school spell which I slows targets, range. and yeah. So I'll show off the chat crumbs now, so I'll use them now. So obviously that will hit all the targets, because if they'd be closer together. Also Intimidations come back, where your pet is just going to stun something, far away. like that. An aspect of the eagle has now been changed, so that just you kind of become a an AOE class in a way, and that when you use that, you're hitting all the targets with your Raptor Strike. So yeah, that is basically it for the Survival Hunter. Um, everything's set to change, so it's not all set in stone. But I'll make a new guide if there has been a big changes, because Survival is going to be changed a lot before it comes out, because obviously it's a big rework. But yeah, I'll keep everyone updated on that. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos, and see you in the next one. No!